Hey folks, today's my birthday, 61 today, and uh, today we're going to make a little tool, an electric screwdriver. They all asked for it, so here we go. Necessity is the mother of invention. And when I worked at Craft Systems back in the 70s, uh, I was doing uh, customizing and actually taking these servos and putting carbon wipers in them and people would send in 10 12 servos at a time and uh, it became very difficult because there's four screws on the bottom of this thing and then all had to be unscrewed by hand so what I did was I built this electric screwdriver which you've seen in my last video and a lot of people have asked me how to make one so uh, I'm going to show you how this works and really I'm just going to use an old craft servo and the battery I'm going to use for it is uh, off my uh, Firebird Phantom a couple extra of those and uh, I think this is going to work pretty good but uh, like I said I never seen an electric screwdriver I don't think there were any big electric screwdrivers back then uh, so this, this was my screwdriver for removing uh, the servo screws let me show you how this works it made our job a, a lot easier That's it. Screws come out. Bottom comes out. Easy enough. So we're going to take the guts out of this servo now, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to how to make an electric screwdriver out of craft servo or any servo. The first thing you want to do is remove all of the parts from inside so all you have is the motor and the gear train and uh, then after you get that you need to take this carbon wiper out of here and uh, the way you do that is you just have to pry up on the gear train and pull that out. Once you got the wiper off and uh, and the gear train out you need to take this little stop off the bottom of the gear uh, some servos have them and some don't and I'm just gonna cut that right off so that gear doesn't uh, let it stop so it'll free freewheel all the way around so that's all you gotta do to, to get that off okay the next thing we have to do is out of this main drive gear is we have to take this shaft out of here because that's where the screwdriver is going to fit in there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that out and we're going to glue the screwdriver head in there. And that will be that part. And the way I'm going to do that is just going to set this gear in the uh, in the middle of the of my little vise here. And I'm going to put the, the punch in here. I'm just going to tap it with my hammer. That's it. Perfect. So that's the, uh, the hole where we're going to put the screwdriver in now. Next thing I've done is just simply taken this uh, screwdriver tip and have uh, ground it down so it's going to fit in this hole. Okay, the shaft on the bottom, I have shortened that. I have ground off about a quarter of an inch, so that's going to go back inside this gear here, and the screwdriver part is going to go in the top part. Let's put it together. Okay, what I've done is I've taken Amazing Goop and put on this right here and glued, put that back in. And I'm going to take some and put on the other side now on the screwdriver bit. I'm going to put this on the end of the shaft so it doesn't all just pile up. And, uh, I'm going to stick that in this side, just like this. Good. That's it. Let's 
Move out the gear glue a little bit. Make sure that you remove any plastic stops. There was a little plastic stop right here. And uh, you have to remove that so the gears will, will go around all the way. In the old days, uh, they had locks on it, so it would only go um, about three quarters of a turn. Put on your gears. Put it all back together the same way. And it wouldn't hurt if you uh, take a picture of your gears before you take it apart because a lot of people would never figure out how to put these gears back in there. And then uh, once you do that, you can go ahead and put this top back on as a trial fit. Make sure everything is working. Okay. Just like that. battery power on here, if I can hook up the battery. Okay, I just got the battery hooked up right now. Make sure everything is working here. Everything is looking pretty good. So uh, let's go ahead and put the switches together and wire this baby up. I put the wiper back in there uh, just as something to hold the uh, shaft a little bit. It's actually not necessary, but uh, I went ahead and put that on there. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we need a couple of... Uh, uh, push button switches, single fold, double throw. Okay, carefully mark the holes where your switches are going to be so nothing's going to be in the way like the motor here. Put it right here on the side. And then I run some pilot holes and now I'm going to make the hole the, the size of the switch. And both switches now will fit right in there. Okay, I've wired up the switches, and now we're, uh, we're just going to go ahead and try it. This should make it turn one way, which it does, and the other switch turns it the opposite direction. So uh, we're in good shape. So let's put it all back together in the case. Okay, got everything in uh, in the case. The switches are in the case there, as you can see. And uh, we've got a uh, screwdriver over here, forward and backwards. So let's go ahead and put it all together now. All right, I put it in the case. Let's go ahead and put these screws in. Tighten it all down. This is how this works. Okay, there we go, folks. Let that glue set up, and we're all done. I'm going to just mount the battery on here. Okay, the next thing we want to do is put a plug on it. It'll, it'll fit your battery. So, like, I'm using these Firebird Phantom batteries, and I have an extra plug, which I'm going to go ahead and solder this on right now. So this is what you want to do. Solder on your... Out of the wires. Make sure you got a good connection. Good. All right. Some tape on that. Take this off. Could use shrink tubing too, but I just didn't, uh, didn't have any right at hand, so my black brace tape works really good. Okay, looks like we've got a pretty good uh, setup now, and I'm just going to wrap this around the top, Velcro the back. So there you go folks, you can make your own little screwdrivers for uh, small items. There's the old one and there's the, the new one. Gadgets.
gadgets. Mr. Herbert's gadget class.